Life skills teacher Kellen Fox says she got the idea for the pet program from Crockett Middle School, who has a similar one. I just thought, I have to bring it to junior high. I have to bring it to Dumas. I have to get my kids out there and a part of the school rather than kind of sheltered. That's when she brought in the student council at the beginning of the school year to help bond with the special ed students, cook for them, play games, and go on field trips. And it's one thing to have the leaders of your school working with the kids that they are around every day, but it's a different thing to have the leaders of your school working with kids that are in a, an environment of their own. It's good to have good communication skills and for them to be able to get out in the community and talk to people that they don't know or they're not familiar with. Can kids who are really sheltered and wouldn't talk to the regular ed population or we would just kind of form a line and walk to our classes and get there fast and now they're actually a part of the student body and it's amazing. Wow, these kids are really awesome. They're, they interact just like we do. I think this program is very helpful for the other students because it shows the friendships that you can build and you can also be a great role model for others to follow. And that's what has happened. Their peers have taken notice and now those friendships have extended beyond the student council. I want the student body to realize that these kids are just like them. They all want friends. They all want to be a part. They want to yell for the Dumas Demons and they want to walk in the hallway and wave at their friends and they've got that.